Well, how glamorous you look. How lovely to have you here. Thank you very much, dear sir. Thank you for joining us. Wow, what a success story uh, your career is. It's remarkable. Uh, the Hannah Montana show, and I'm sure if you've got anyone who we call we call young people tweens, don't we? Of a certain age. Tweens. Yeah, someone who's in between those tweens and up into the early tweens. My daughter's a huge fan of your show. Thank you very much. And it's watched by, I believe, if I'm correct, someone like 160, 170 million people worldwide. I think something like that. Oh, that's I'm, I'm not good with the numbers. I, don't, I try not to keep up because in that day where you see them go like this, it's uh -huh. no good. So I'd rather just not know. So you don't want to focus on the success now, but, you, but presumably you must be enjoying it because you're riding pretty high. Yeah. Well, you know I. Uh, I got back from the premiere, I rushed over here from the premiere of the movie, and there was seriously like thousands and thousands of people lined up to see the movie here, and it's gone number one in the U.S., and uh, my record did as well today or yesterday, something like that, and uh, so that's my fourth record to go number one within the past three years, so I'm freaking out because it's so different when I come here, because in the States, I, I stay pretty aware, but then I come here, and I was like, gosh, I'm going to get out there, and no one's going to like me. And no one's gonna scream, and no one's gonna be in my movie. But I was totally surprised. So, I, you know, I was, I was excited. And what a long sentence that was as well. It was. <laughs> I talk a lot, but apparently but no, you can edit this. It's great. It's a talk show. That's what I'm hoping for. Exactly. I'm just glad you didn't come out holding a cup and saucer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, when did you start um, performing as Hannah Montana? Because obviously you come from a showbiz family. We'll get onto that. But right. when did the Hannah Montana character enter your life? Um, when I was 11, I started auditioning, and uh, I originally auditioned. This is going to be another long sentence. Fine, feel free. Don't make a joke. I won't make. Because you can always edit me out. No one cares, but I'll tell you anyways because you asked. Miley, don't be silly. Don't be. Don't be like that. Of course, people care. No, this isn't a talk show. This is the Jonathan Ross show. That's right. Because you can ask all the questions. Yeah. No, but um, seriously. So at first, <laughs> when I was 11, I auditioned, and then I auditioned for Lily, who plays my best friend. And then they said, oh, I want you to audition for Hannah. And then I auditioned for Hannah. And they told me I was too small, too young. And then I was really upset because I was like, can hold you it, know it. that from you, my you, first you, take? You, don't, you can speak at the normal speed still. You don't have to uh, raise story. Okay, I didn't right. want to make you feel so, bad about the sentence. So at first, yeah. no, I no, auditioned. No, no, now you're going too far. The other way. Just for... So at first I auditioned for the TV show, and they said that I was too small and too young. And no, seriously. And then uh, they said I was too small, too young. And then I was like, "Didn't you know that from the first take?" Yeah, they would have seen that. You yeah. Before. So then um, they kind of like kicked me to the curb, and I just kept sitting in takes and takes, more takes. The uh, I tried to get you know more makeup, higher heels to look older. To look a bit older. And uh, it didn't it didn't work. And then you know they kept saying, "Yeah, well you're good, but you're just not old enough." And then a couple months go by and. They still haven't found the girl yet, and then they asked me to come to California. I went there, and uh, five minutes before my audition, I uh, spilled Dr. Pepper on me, and a bird pooped on my head. And apparently, that's good news because I got the part. Well, apparently, it's good luck. That proves the point, I think. Exactly. Right there. Um, it's not Miley Cyrus, and you play Miley someone else, don't you? Yes, I play Miley, Miley Stewart. Miley Stewart, who by day is a regular, just a regular young woman, and then she can put on the blonde wig, and she performs as. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. What's the, uh, my daughter threatened to teach me the new dance. There's a dance that you do in the, oh. no, I don't believe it. Pop it, lock it, polka dot it, cut it. Do it. <laughs> I, I, I haven't learned yeah. it. Jay Leno did it. If Jay Leno okay. can do it, you can do it. Come on. Pop and lock. You go like, pop it. Pop it. Lock it. Lock it. You gotta put your booty out. Booty. Lock it. Polka dot it. Polka dot it. Are you gonna work on that? That's what? your exercise for the day. Pop it, lock it, polka dot it. Are you out of breath? You good? I, I don't know where I am. Bring it out. Bring it out, sister. Wow. Pop you know, it. You know what I like about this? Christ, you're confident. Just just it. Pop it. Pop it. Lock it. Pop it. Lock it. What do you do with your bits then? Lock it. Just lock it. Polka dot it. Pop it, lock it, try to slop. Yeah. What is that? Um, uh, but I will practice, I promise. The okay. next time you come on, I'll be fluent in Perfect. Montanese. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the film um, takes it to a kind of new, obviously, it booms out the story, it has to, uh, but is it the end of you as Hannah Montana? Um, well, it's very different in the States, we're uh, like almost half a season ahead of here. And so basically, she's kind of got to grow up a little bit so more. So you're still doing the TV show? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm on the third season. And so we're a little bit ahead right now, starting to show that a little bit more, and she is growing up. And so it kind of leads us into the movie, but the movie, we didn't want it just to be a longer version of an episode. Right. We really, because what I want to do is film. I think this is a good way for me to introduce myself to the cinema instead of just, this isn't what I want to do forever. My, yeah. next, my next role is a little bit more dramatic. It's uh, written by Nicholas Sparks. And, um, what are you playing, a ninja? 
I'm, I'm not playing a ninja. Oh, I want to play a ninja. Ninja. <laughs> I'll play a ninja. Ninja or, would be great. Or, or, or the queen. Yeah, I think or... we have, I'm just, come on. She would give it to me. She liked me. But she would give you advice if you wanted acting advice, I guess. Do you, do you look to uh, other performers for advice and help? Um, yeah, you know what? Like, I've actually, obviously, after talking to her, uh, I, well, I, she's in the room. She's not the cat's mother. We can say <laughs> Helen. I don't, I don't want you. Okay, you this is all about me. This is, this is my press time. <laughs> We're not going to talk about her movie. We're talking about my movie. So, no. Her movie's great. Go see it. I'll see it. Um, yeah, because Ben Affleck's cute, which I told I, her. I get the feeling you're going to survive in this business. <laughs> I, I have this feeling. Keep have your this feeling crossed. You're going to make a success of this. I think <laughs> something about you, you've got what it takes. I'll take over. Yeah, no, you see, she wants this show as well. She wants your movie, she wants this show. Watch out, boys, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, let me ask you about your father, may I? Yeah. We can talk about him. Which, you know, you said that you're glad the mullets get the generation, but I was looking at you. You kind of got a mullet. <laughs> like a mini mullet. A mini mullet's even worse. It's like you I couldn't like, grow a proper mullet. My dad, my dad has a book, and there's like the Kentucky Waterfall, which is what my dad has. That's well, there's your dad now, mullet. though. But now your dad has some more modern hair color together, and he's a very good looking man, if I may say so. Oh, thank it, you. Even with the, 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 the tiny attempt at a beard there. I don't quite know what's going on. The what? The little, it's not really a beard, is it? It's a, he called it his flavor saver. <laughs> but it must be kind of weird for him because you're this huge star. He's still a star, but to see his little girl grow up and become. Global. Yeah. Uh, what a strange thing. Yeah, it's weird because all the kids like cheer for me, but I heard like some like I can't whistle, but you know like the. I heard, I heard that today from my dad from moms. Wow. It's like what are you teaching your children? And they were like, I'm my dad. They like so, the dad. Yeah, all the women like my dad. Oh, that's a nice thing though. Yeah. Isn't it? My they mom must... loves that too. Yeah. yeah. She likes it because she feels she's got something special. Exactly. Okay. She is, but she's she's like, my dad. Like, you know, my dad's not ugly, but my mom is way prettier. <laughs> I wonder if he'll still be talking to Jamal when he hears about it. Oh, yeah, you. he will. Okay. He has to fly back. He does money. Hey, so he's in town? Yeah. Where is he? Did he not come to see us? No. He's I'm... done nothing but sleep the entire time, I swear. Yeah, that's when, when men get old, they sleep a lot. Yeah, he asked me, he was like, you want to go to dinner tonight, buddy? And I was like, I can't. I'm doing this show. And he was like, oh, really? So what time are you going to go to dinner? And I said, yeah, probably like 10. Oh, no, that's way past my bedtime. I was like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why did you really talk to you? He's like, hey, buddy, I'm going to go yeah. to dinner. Really? Yeah. That's a great way to talk. He goes, hey, bud, you want to go to dinner? So hang on. Like, You've yeah. told us this evening your dad uh, is essentially sleeps all the time. But he's smart. He's very unattractive. Uh, <laughs> doesn't deserve your mother to still be with him. That's uh, true. And speak like a kind of idiot like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, now the movie uh, is been so it's opened big already in America. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's open. Well, congratulations. It's Thank opening uh, here more, next was. Friday. It's going to be huge. It'll be pretty huge all over the world. How long are you going to keep doing Hannah for then? You mentioned earlier you're, you're halfway through the third series now. You're filming that at the moment. Those bubbles are so distracting that are, are behind you. I can't quit watching them. Well I look cross-eyed on the on the screen probably because I'm like looking at the bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Okay. Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Watch the movie. Yeah, watch the movie. <laughs> it. uh, it's easy to remember the title of this film. Hannah Montana, the movie. Took a long time to come up with, yeah. but we did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's a great title. You know what I'm you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. It's great fun. Here you go. Have a look at this. You know, do you want to know my favorite part of the movie? Me? You don't want to know. Okay. Uh, She's got absolutely. Oh, well, no, I see what you mean. Man, you love selling this thing, don't you? Okay. That's all right. I know. Why I'm not sleeping? Why I've been talking to people, you know, like you, like people like you. You're like a sort of charming assassin, aren't you? You're like Oprah, you know? I'm like Oprah. If people, if you say that you like it, people I, will see it. I do, oh, I do like it. It's your favorite movie of the year, right? No. <laughs> not by a long shot, if but Helen I like it. <laughs> well, it's, you want the truth, don't you? What it's about, good. What about Helen's movie? I loved Helen's movie. As much as Hannah Montana in the movie. Don't so, make a joke. So much more. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's for me. It's for my age group. Yours is for younger people. Did your daughter like my movie? My daughter loved your movie. Did your daughter like my movie more than you like Helen's movie? Man, did, what is this game now? <laughs> You've confused me. I don't oh know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can I just say, I've interviewed just about everyone. You are the scariest person. <laughs> 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 OK, here it is. Put the clip. <laughs> Hannah Montana, the movie. 
There's the star right there. You know, if you're looking for a family film, you've got kids, you couldn't do better than that. It's great fun. That's what Thank you. you. It's the truth. Uh, how lovely to have you here. How great so uh, to meet you. And I know that my daughter's very excited that I met you. I know a lot of people up and down the country with kids that uh, filled you on the show. Thank you for coming here. Thank you so much. Good luck with the movie. You won't need it. Good luck Thank with you. everything else. Have fun with Helen. Yeah. I'll... Tell her I say hello. That sounds like an order. Give her a hug. You, you, you'll, Give her a hug for me. You, you'll see you in just a I second. I really like Helen, actually. Yeah, you don't want to go, do you? No, I, no, I really don't. I get the feeling. <laughs> Don't say you see my movie. <laughs> <laughs> see my movie. That's the way to do it. Win them over with anger. Yeah. Uh, please say hello to your dad for me, will you? I will. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's Mighty Cyrus. Thank you so Thank much. You. Great fun. Thank you. Very <laughs> <laughs>